Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Cormon demo. We are doing pretty good in pushing our way into Woodlow Harbor. In the last episode, we lost our Silk Wheel, our potent Silk Wheel, which makes me very, very, very sad. But we still have a pretty good squad here. We're almost all level 11s and I can catch anything that comes along. I definitely have a couple that I could drop off right now. I think I'll drop off the Digma. If I dropped off anything, then we have a place for another one. And there's my Slither Pin. One of my favorite of all in this is the Slither Pin, at least of the ones that I have seen so far. That's pretty cool. I like to see that he's a level nine. We should get a lot of experience out of this. I just need to be able to knock him out and see how that oh poison sting that oh five points of damage but it'll probably put him as a poison too so that's not drain makes it tough though drain really does hurt you Ooh, I don't like that I don't like that that was very effective we're gonna squat it out Goslime. I don't know how well you're gonna go against this but hey let's try the drain ability from the different Cormons have to be some of my favorite and that really hurts trying to knock him out right there. He's going to get another three or four here and that's not going to be good. Poison Sling. Wow. Okay, this is just not going to go well here. I don't think. Got another power slap on him. What is he going to do to me? Drain. Okay. How much is that going to do? Let's go again. That power slap did a good bit of hurt the last time. Did another drain. Gosh, the timing on these two and their speeds must be very close because they keep on switching back and forth. And we're going to switch again. That's frustrating, but oh, not a huge big deal, but we'll have to actually run back unless these guys get leveled up. I was gonna say run back and get healed, but he may not. See that drain just kept him alive there. It was kind of frustrating there that you kept on like, you know, I, w or I just want you to die, but he kept on pulling that little bit of health back to hold it and he got several more rounds out of it there oh okay my goss slime went up that's good but my other one didn't which is unfortunate my lunar pup did not go up a level what was my milestone here five battles defeated there we go level eight awesome we get some i think that's another fruit type not a hundred percent sure about that but we could check maybe i'm not sure what i just got oh a dream spinner a spinner which makes it easier for catching sleeping coramon interesting okay well that's kind of cool that makes hypno wave a better possibility now i mean that definitely gives you a reason to use hypno ray i got three more spinners i got all kinds of spinners right now i just need something to catch um we have a cub zero i keep on wanting to call him sub zero but that's like from a completely different game uh no we're gonna switch him out hoping that the little bit of xp he gets off of this one is gonna level him up uh, yeah, I think I got one a few episodes ago, but I sent him straight to storage. I guess I could go back and see if or go back and get him out of storage. I have several in storage right now. Very effective. We're not going for that. Not going for it. Let's go ahead and throw my Digma out there and get him to level 12. I'm just trying to think of what I have in storage off the top of my head. And I know I have a Cub Zero. I know I have a Silk Will. 
neither of I really need to have. I haven't played the Cub Zero all the way through. I had it as my starter once, but I lost it like right at the beginning. And my Lunar Pup doesn't level up. Of course not. Why would it? Uh, we're so close. He has to be so close to that level up too. We're just going to play around in the grass here a little bit. See what we can find. Uh, Armado. Nothing too exciting here. Level six. Yeah, the thing here is... The problem is that in some of these grass areas you can get doubles which makes it a whole much more difficult and with that double it's harder to deal with and raises the difficulty a lot more so you kind of still got to be careful going through here because you know a six is yay you can take a six out no problem at all but then you look at a double sixes or double fours is a whole different ball game and you've just got to be really careful about that even if i am level 12 lunar pup how close is he to a level up i just want you to level up lunar pup how close are you You've got to be really close. Oh, yeah, so we need nine experience to the next level. How about my Digmaw? How close are you? 310. 89. So those are both really close. No, not so much. Not so much. Okay. Let's see what we can get here. We just need one more battle to get my Digmaw up. Or not my Digmaw, but my Lunar Pup. Come on, Beezle. I don't need a Beezle. I probably should just push ahead and see what we can do. I'm going to go with... I don't know. Let's go with my Nimble Gar. I kind of want to see him evolve and see what he has since he's a starter. Maybe we'll go back and get that Cub Zero and level him up and see what we can do with him. That would be kind of cool. I mean, we'd have two starters, basically, and maybe along the way we could find the third one uh, and just go through the whole game with starters. That would be kind of cool. But also when they evolve, I have random ev evolutions there, too, so I could evolve into anything as well. So that's like really interesting here that maybe it's going to just evolve into something crazy. Let's get through the grass and run back. Well, let's go ahead and do I have a Lux Recall? I have a Phoenix Shard. I believe I do. You know, I should give that to somebody. I mean, really anything would help anybody. Let's give it to Nimblegar. Sure, why not? Uh, where is the... I thought I... Is it all the way down here? There we go. Lux Recall... Remote controlled Lux Recall. Huh, I shouldn't have that, I don't think, still. I really don't think I should still have that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. That sends us back to the campus, I believe. I'm going to sell the Phoenix Shard really quickly and get healed up. And then we'll head out again. Oh, yeah, we'll grab our... While we're here, we'll grab our withdraw a Cormon. Let's see what we have it. Oh, we got our, we got actually quite a bit here of different ones that we could. What's a bright light? I don't know what that is, but we'll grab it. Two of them have bright light prepared, brave and prepared. Okay, let's go ahead and select him. Let's no, no, we want to withdraw. Okay, withdraw. Whew. I got really worried there. Like I messed something up. Like I didn't want to release him. No definitely not what i wanted to do also with my levels here and the way it works i could throw that cub zero out at the beginning and have him switch out to one of the other ones and he'll level up really quickly here 
I can almost probably go to the other side of the other side of Hayville and get like an eight because my level elevens can fight that can fight a level eight. I just have him in there and then switch him out. I want to sell an item. Yep, we'll sell it because it really doesn't help me at all to have that. Heal trick and dream I could. Oh, we're still in selling. Let's see what we could buy. I, I've done that before. I accidentally just sold all my items. So he has a plane. A plane spinner and a spinner. A plane spinner is special for a plane Cormon. Got it. Woo. That seemed a lot tougher than it should have been. So we'll have our Cub Zero here until we find something else. At least we'll have a full squad. And like I said, we'll probably be able to level him up really quickly here. Anything that it goes against that. I mean, I don't even have to have him fight. Just have him out of that first and switch it out. So... Oh, a baser. That's, I can't remember all these evolutions. It's an evolution of something. Do I, oh, it's a, okay, it's effective. So let's do it. He'll get all the experience for this. And it's gonna, he's gonna go like almost up to level six probably here. It's like a little beetle thing. The be Beeslet, Buzzlet or something like that is the first of, I don't know, the non-evolution, the negative evolution of a baser. See, yeah, I knew that was going to move him up really easily like that. Oh, gosh. I was, yeah, almost to level six. I was right. Oh, a Uki fruit. I don't even know what an Uki fruit does. That ability is going to be an amazing ability. <laughs> uh, that finding items, finding money, finding stuff is going to be very helpful. Slam was kind of hurtful. Okay. Let's go one more time. Because if he hit a crit, I should still be okay. Now let's switch. Because all these guys are so much higher in level that it really doesn't matter. I pull him out, he'll get two points of damage, and then I'll take him out. The Goss Slime will take two points of damage. Okay, six. But it was a crit, so it should have only had three points of damage. There we go. And that might even level up. Oh, we'll make him to go to six at least. But what do we got here for its base stats? Oh, attack, defense, and special defense. I think Cub Zero is the all around, if I remember. Frost Champ. That's going to be very helpful. I think I said Frost Champ. Frost Chomp is what I meant. That chance to freeze is very useful. It's like putting him to sleep. Although the slash is going to be very effective here because Lamprey is a an electric type. Yep, that's exactly what I expected to happen. I almost expected to get knocked straight out, but here we go. We'll, we'll, he'll be up to level 11 by the time we get to Hayville, probably. He's already level seven. It's only been like three battles. Power leveling. Somewhere there is a way to get to that treasure chest over by the, I know there has to be, but I'd have no idea how to do it. There's a treasure chest over. Oh, is this it? Ha, <laughs> right, oh. That's not it, but it got me a treasure chest. I got a gauntlet coupon. I don't know what that is. Is that? Was the coupons down here? This coupon entitles you to receive one gauntlet and can be redeemed at the Lux Solus Campus reception. 
What is an extra gauntlet gonna help me for? That's weird. Not at all what I expected to be there. I mean, not like horrible weird, but just really an item I didn't expect to have in the game. So let's go ahead and run on the other side of Hayville. We'll be back and ready to raring to go here in just a minute. Now watch, I'll put this, you know what I wanna do? I wanna put an item right here. I can plant seeds here. The Oki increase attack of the Cormon when in danger. Let's, I could actually plant something in this little pot here. I'm gonna do an Oki fruit. I plant it and then I come back and I could harvest the planted fruit there and get more than that one I planted. So I'd get like three of them for the one that I planted. Let's see what we run into here. Anything? Nothing? Okay. I mean, sure. Nothing at all? I like scared all the wild Cormon away. Okay, we have one of them. What level are you? They're both ice. That means they're not gonna do anything against each other. But he's at level five. If I can get this, I don't know what the rain does, but we'll see. We'll see who can scratch who out first. Uh, oh no, Hypnowave puts me to sleep. No. <laughs> Poor Cub Zero, wake up. Oh good, he woke up. You have a chance to wake up at the beginning of each round, I believe. So like, you could be asleep for several rounds and they just get a bunch of hits done on you or you could wake up immediately. Level eight. The backing of all these high level one is really what helps out right here. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and order the SP cake, sweet. We're gonna actually go ahead and do this one. I don't know what he has. A baser, oh, okay, what level is it? Because that cup zero has that scratch is gonna be very effective. Eight, okay. That's gonna, yeah, almost, ah, oh, sticky layer lowers my speed, yeah. Mmm, slam, okay, we can handle this. I can take a few bit of damage here. I should be only need one more, but this definitely should move him up to nine. I would think. Lightning strike, oh, it missed. Got really worried there for a second. Here we go, Bazer is, Bazer maybe? I don't know, 437. 437 experience for a level eight. Attack, defense, and special. So attack, defense, and special defense. Nine, it's gonna go to 10. I bet you anything is gonna go straight up to 10. That was a great idea there. Oh, so close, so close to a level 10. A movie is another thing that I've seen a lot of, but never have actually used a movie before. So that I hope I can catch that at some point. Freeze it, freeze it. Nope. It's a low chance of freeze, like a 5% chance or a 10% chance to freeze it. But when it does, it is super effective. Fury Fist, that's not good. That's a thing that could hit like three times, yep. Oh, this is not good. It only hit twice, good. Good, good, good. I was, I started to panic. There we go. See, Cubs here's up to level 10 with the rest of us. Static fur. Huh, interesting. That's an interesting skill. You can shock your opponents. I shouldn't have looked away. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so we are doing well here. Let's see what we got up a year. Oh, ran into something. Oh, an Aurora. That's the evolution of Cub Zero. Level six. So his overclocker is usually only for the patter bit because it's the only one that's a electric or a, I don't know, a robot type. 
but what it does is I believe makes your attack over your attacker speed over your opponent so if an opponent has attack or speed above yours then you match theirs basically is what overclock does wow right up to level 11 look at that probably another defeat so many yeah I almost shouldn't have that as like infinite there where is the next I'm not sure where the next thing is another guild wing okay okay I can handle a guild wing I believe I keep on forgetting where certain things are so like I'm trying to figure out where this person is or how do I get to the Woodlow Harbor it just there's I just not sure about some of the areas and I have to look again I think that guild wing did a little bit of damage there I probably have to switch out unless I freeze here Yeah, let's go one more time. Fast strike. Freeze, freeze it. Or knock it all the way out. Okay. I'll take the knockout. <laughs> Here we go. It just leveled them up right like that. There we go. We have two starters level 11. That's pretty cool. I really like that, actually. For some reason, I like that. Attack, defense, and special. Defense. All right, like that. That actually worked out very well for us. Oh, another treasure chest. Ground take. Ground cake. Removes shock, I believe. Oh, am I ready for another trainer? Yeah, I mean, as long as they're not really high level. I mean, if they're around 10 or 11, I should be able to take him. Usually they're not. I don't remember a trainer having six. He has four. This might be bad. An Ecliptor? Oh, I have maybe made a really huge mistake here. That thing is awesome. That has to be a Lunar Pups evolution. I've never seen that before. Fully rested. I got gotcha. you. Frost Chomp. 30. It did four points of damage there. This is not going to go well. Oh, gosh. Bad decision. Please, can we freeze you? Lowers my defense. Is that what it does? Because attack decrease. Okay. Lowers my defense is actually worse than an attack decrease. Because if I lower my defense, you're going to hit me harder next time because my defense is lower come on it still hasn't froze it yet but we're holding our own here which is all i want right now hypno wave that's not good is it gonna put me to well it i think it always puts me to sleep it's just whether i wake up or not okay now i think i have it i mean he just used mighty roar the whole time it slowed my attack down, but still, I was hitting him. I was doing damage. So, I'm not sure about that. 900 experience. Awesome. What are you going to pull out here? He's going to be almost... A oh, gosh. Level 13. I was going to say he's going to almost be level 13. Beat up actually does damage. So, let's take static fur... Static fur out and cute, cute poke. Wow, I can't talk cute pose out so that we have beat up here available. Oh, I didn't enable it. That's fine. What are you throwing out now? An armado level nine. I'm not sure my glass slime will be able to take it. But let's try. I it's, I'm hurt a little bit, which just makes me a little bit worried. I think the Armado has a scratch, which is going to be very effective. Yep. That's exactly what I expected. Right there, exactly what I expected to happen. That's all right. We'll move some of the other ones up. Not a big deal. 
you go okay cost slime you're right you're fine we're a little worried about this but i think we're okay let's do tell spin hopefully it hits a bunch of times <laughs> there we go three times awesome toughen up that's just another one they'll just sit there and toughen up all the time like mighty roar it really doesn't help you uh, all the time oh he did seven point i didn't expect him to do seven points of damage i guess he is a nine so he's not that far below me we should be able to take him out maybe this one it, oh yeah we got a critical hit one more hit oh we got two critical hits on that that's pretty cool i didn't quite expect that the evolutions do seem to give you a lot more experience though because this armado is a level nine and i'm not i doubt i'll get 900 experience from it 70 yeah that gave you a lot more Yep, yep, yep. A Nimble Gar. Nimble Gar is going to be really strong against him, so we got to switch him out. A Frost Shell. Let's go for that. Sure, why not? I mean, I did to fight one a little bit earlier and took him out pretty easily, but still. I don't think water will be strong against ice. Yeah, not very effective. I could drain. Let's just drain him down. I mean, that's the way to do it. Just get all my health back like that. Yep. Critical hits. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Although the mighty roar against the drain is not a bad move. Because it would let you hit for less damage and then heal you up for less. They're really not helping you out here, Nibblegar. Really not helping you out. I've got him down pretty low and I'm full health, so we're gonna go just conserve some SP here. I only did three points of damage that time. That's all right. I mean, I could just keep hitting him. We're almost got him here. Finally did something here. <laughs> and I'm going down to where it's two hit points and it's not gonna be able to do anything about it because if you are like low hit points and you do a drain you only get the hp back of what you actually took so even if the drain could have hit for 10 points of damage because you only actually did two then you only get the two point or the half of the two so you get the one hit point back which is not very helpful A sim shell I feel that I should have seen that before but I'm not sure what and I'm not sure what it's an evolution of it might be a evolution of a Frova I don't know for sure here we go right back up to 30 look at that crystal surprise that looks oh pretty from leaving the battlefield Eh, that's not gonna hurt me right now there we go that worked out really well for us i think we did well they had another evolution there that was going to give him a lot of extra xp that was good exercise i got a lot of money for that too he had two evolutions there which definitely helped out quite a bit i think well, well let's grab this little chest here and see what we got a bear fruit or a burr fruit and a gel fruit I wonder what a gel fruit does it's probably i just haven't remember seeing these items before a gel fruit probably does yeah remains focused when you're feeling hazy and then oh that's a really good one you should plant that one because the xp gain is definitely good there so let's reorder these i'm gonna put my cub zero at the back obviously and then my i want my goss slime to be first because i can have him be in the beginning of a battle and switch him out easily and that's going to end up healing him up how far is he off of the he still has 161 but basically you just have him at the beginning of the battle switch him out 
and then he'll get the experience for it so that's good that's going to be our episode for today thank you for watching i do appreciate it we'll be continuing through the woodlow forest in the next episode and i will see you then bye everybody